this is the folk singer and um, I have a little flute here and, and but I'm not really concerned with playing the flute today I'm concerned with just some little exercises for helping people determine how to produce a certain pitch with the voice so let's just pick a pitch We listen to that pitch. Now I can come fairly close to that pitch. It's sort of this pitch. Maybe I'm just a little sharper flat, but I'm pretty close. Let's lower the pitch by covering some more stops on this flute. Now I'm singing a lower pitch, producing what I hear. I'm trying to let that sound stay in my head so that when I think about it, it's not mmm, and it's not mmm, it's mmm. I'm pretty close. Now that takes a lot of practice, but there's a little device that uh, if you have a computer, and of course most of you do, um, and, a, and an online source, um, you can uh, use a little uh, device called uh, a guitar tuner or some other sort of tuner to help you do this. You don't need to work with a, a flute like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's look at what I've another um, way to go got this. here on my computer screen, and I'm just focusing on a little part of the screen while other things change in the background, is um, a widget called the Tuna Fish. It's uh, used basically to tune a guitar. And you can see that as I'm talking, uh, A, B, C, these are all changing because my voice is going up and down. But if I choose a particular sound here, and I, I'm just going to focus first of all on a D. I'm putting my pointer on a D and I'm clicking on it. And then Tuna Fish will produce the tune. You can see that's a D. All right. Now if I try by shutting that off, going to auto here and shutting it off, to produce a sound and I produce something below that D, I won't get the D. Mm, that's a C, you can see that. But if I start thinking, uh, let's listen to that sound. And then try to produce it. Mm, there's a D, and you can see it says D3. If I go one octave higher, it will turn into a D4. Let's see if we can do that. Mm, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, D4, D3. And the tuner is recognizing uh, that helping me Make sure that I'm actually producing that particular note. Let's try it with a G. So here we have a G, G, G. Now that's not, I, if I'm here, do that's too low. But if I get myself up to here, I'll get a G. Let's see if we can turn the auto off and try it. Hmm, no, that's around a C, D. If I'm awfully close to G, there's a G3. Let's play it and hear it. Yes, I got it, G3. Let's try B. A little higher. Mm, B, I can get it. If I'm lower, I won't get that B. If I'm not stable, I won't get that B. But if I get up 
to that side, almost there, an A sharp, no, there's a B. Well, what I've done is drawn to uh, an online tuner. And this is a tuner that simply um, reads the sounds in the room, uh, the sounds that I'm producing. Uh, they're going up and down now because my voice is going up and down. But again, if I try uh, on this particular tuner, it's by the way at www.7thstring.com forward slash tuner. If I um, try to get maybe that D that I got before, D. Notice that uh, as I come close, those lines, um, if I go below it, of course, they go the other way. And then they go left, and if I go above it, they go right. And it's hard to stay exactly on, but I'll sing that D again. D. Now I'll go up a bit. D, A, B, C, D, E. Half note higher would be F, F, pretty close. So this is another way that you can practice trying to hit a certain pitch and practice trying to sustain it. Not easy, but it's worth it. Um, the importance of it is that if you can maintain a pitch and know that that's a certain pitch that corresponds to that sound you just heard, hmm, Then you can sing simple melodies, for instance, I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee. And you can be in the same range of sounds as the accompaniment or as the people you are singing with are.